A lot of media attention was given to the kidnap of the Indians that were traveling between the Shagamu Interchange on Shagamu Benin Expressway around the Lishan. That particular area had become very notorious because of the state of that highway. Of course, I have brought this to the attention of Mr. President, who has directed the Honorable Minister of Works, Nigeria David Mahi, to immediately do something about that stretch of road. But that particular stretch, because it has become so dilapidated and motorists are forced to slow down in some particular bad areas. These people, men of the other world, use those spots as spots and places to carry out their nefarious activities of kidnapping innocent victims. Sometime last week, it was reported that over 20 people were kidnapped in this particular instant situation that we are describing. Of course, the police immediately clarified that there were only four victims, not 20, as widely circulated and since analyzed. A few days afterwards, through various creative and ingenious means of the men of the Ugo State Police Command, they were able to bring the kidnappers to book. In the course of tracking, tracing, arresting them, some of them were neutralized. Five AK-47s were recovered. Hundreds of rounds of ammunition and cartridges were also recovered. This will be the second time that our anti-kidnapping team in the state will record that level of success in the last month and a half. This is on top of the string of successes that they recorded over the last few months since the beginning of the year. I want to use this opportunity to thank the CP, to thank the OC kidnapping team, who is today being represented by his 2IC, um, the SP, thank the DCCID, who of course um, must have worked collaboratively with them, providing them with the national intelligence, thank the young men who continuously consistently risk their lives so that we can